centre pages, the editor spreads malicious gossip about your favourite telly stars and talks frankly about his alleged psychic relationship with Marilyn Monroe. Yes, in the Daily Con, there's nothing. Nothing but TV news, horoscopes, competitions, sport and scandal. Now a word from your top con man, the con's editor, sports writer, astrologer and van driver who, naturally enough, wishes to remain anonymous. The Daily Con is now four months old. When it opened, I pledged to you, my readers, not to include any foreign news items or photographs of lesser-known overseas dignitaries. And I've kept to that pledge. That's The Daily Con, Britain's cheapest and Britain's shortest. It's headlines, headlines, all the way in the paper, with more pictures and less words. Definitely the paper for people who can't read. Still only six P. Yes, still only six pages. Buy one. <laughs> Nobody spoke. Nobody threatened to bump him. Nobody threatened to duck him. Nobody called him a fat ass. But Razor Eddie, the punk rocker, quietly hit him between the legs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, chump. It's definitely wasn't like Greyfriars. Welcome to this, the 14th annual Markonovich commemorative lecture. The title that I have chosen for this evening's talk is, I think you'll agree, an interesting one. Philosophistics and the symbology of ideas. Now, <laughs> what I propose to do, first of all, is to go over, in very broad terms, some of the areas that we will be covering, and to outline, again, very broadly, some of the ideas that we will be working with. Now, in so doing, what I hope to achieve is some sort of working definition of the parameters around or upon which my analysis shall be founded, or based. <laughs> but before I do that, I want to put to you a question. And that question is as follows. How can we approach a subject as complex and diversificated as philosophistics? That is to say, how can we attitudinize if you like, on an area of thought as complicated and multifaceted as philosophistics without, in some way or other, that is to say, without somehow <laughs> compromising our initial focus of introspectivity. <laughs> now, of course, I realize that that is quite a blockbuster to throw at you this early on in the lecture, and I don't imagine for one minute that you'll be in any position to come up with a repast. But I ask you that question now, uh, as opposed to at the end, in order that you may put that at the back of your mind to germinate and be digested so that after our later discussions, um, that is to say after the discussions that we will have later, you may throw up any ideas that you may have and so to begin. Now, before I expel...
yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The first one says, yeah. I am, start running. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, shall we send us out to the good man of the house to bringeth unto us some more fruit to the vine, so that we may partake of it? What are you talking about that for, Simon? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, think, I, think, I sure. think you've had far too much fruit to the vine already. <laughs> uh, I suggest we pay the bill and go down to Simon the Leper's flat for coffee. Good yeah. 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 Miss, get the bill, please. Well, thanks, Sarah. It's been a very pleasant evening. Yeah, yeah, it's been very, good. very, very good. Yeah. Yeah. Where's Judas gone? No, we know it's not. No, no. He left the party again, I suppose. Yeah. Typical of Judas, that. Always disappears when the bill's about to arrive. Yeah. 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 Right, now, I think it'd be easiest if... I think it'd be easy if we just split the damage 13 ways, okay? Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. Hang on, that can't be right. Well, I thought we've had 74 quid. What? What? Let me have yeah. it. That's... Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Twelve unleavened breads and a bronco burger. <laughs> it's it's the ten ten bottles of house fruit of the vine. That's what's up the bill, mate. Oh, that's it. Bill. That's it. You should you should have ordered some water and done that trick of yours, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> what walking on it? <laughs> anyway, look. It's six quid each anyway. Sorry, fellas. All oh, right. I know Matthew. Why don't you pay my cheque and we'll give you cash? No way. <laughs> no way, Bill. I got caught like that. That picnic you organised, I ordered one sardine sandwich and ended up paying the whole bloody multitude. <laughs> right, well, they're six quid each, so I'll, well, I'll put in six and I'll put in for Judas as well. Well, yeah, there's mine. There's mine, six, right? on that for change. Oh, right. There's theirs, all right? There's mine. 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 24 pound 50. <laughs> <laughs> Who hasn't put their six quid? Oh, 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 all right, all right, I'll put in an extra five because I had the birth burden yon, but I'm taking out the tenner for the tax. Yeah, okay, well, right. 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 I had a lobster, all right, right. I'll put in for the surf, and they gave me a third pass of the So they take something else there. Okay, well, hang on. We'll try that. We should have another one. 74 pound 50. That's 5, 20, 60, 80. 10 pound 8 and a half p. Come on, Lisa Jacob. supper I'm coming to. Oh, leader of Wings and ex-member of the Beatles, it's really great to have you on the show. Must be, yeah. I understand that your, uh, your new album is a load of rubbish. Yeah, well, I think that's more or less right. You know, I think we felt that our last two or three albums have not been particularly good, so right, right. we thought we'd go the whole way this time and make yeah. a new one not at all good. Great, yeah. <laughs> there have been some personnel changes in your band lately, Paul. Yeah. I wonder if you'd like to tell us a bit about that. Yeah, well, we've uh, we brought a couple of our kids in on uh, Rattle. And uh, we <laughs> found Rusk, you know. And uh, we've also brought the dog in on uh, the home section. Oh, terrific. How does it sound? Well, you know, I mean, the critics are probably going to say it sounds pretty awful and like, what's he got a dog doing in his mouth for when he's got no real musical ability? But it's a bit of fun, you know, and it's a chance for the dog to be a millionaire. Right, and look, what are your future plans, Paul? Well, I think it may well be an album of me and Linda sitting at home watching Dallas. Right. Might, might that not be a bit dull, Paul? Yeah, well, you know, we can always turn over to ITV. No, I mean the album. Oh. Well, you know, I expect yeah. some of the heavier bands, like, you know, the Nolan Sisters, um, are going to say it's on the extremely tame side. But uh, I think that a lot of people really enjoy being bored to death. Great. Well, I have to ask you this, although I know you must be sick and tired of the question, but is there any chance of you getting back together with, you know, John and George and... Paul? 
Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Cool, yeah. Cool. Right. Well, you know, I mean, what's the point, really? You know, I mean, OK, right. so it makes millions of people very happy, mm. makes us millions of pounds, cancels Britain's trade deficit for the next 50 years and yeah. marks the end yeah. of the Western yeah. economic yeah. recession. But, you know, <laughs> John doesn't fancy it. It seems a bit of a that. Well, I don't think so, you know. I mean, it's all very well saying we were amazingly good once and we did amazing stuff, but right, yeah. you can't be amazingly good all your life, you know. Yeah. I mean, there comes a point where you have to say to yourself, hey, let's go and do something really brainless. Great. <laughs> well, thanks a lot for talking to oh, us. thank you. Paul McCrackley there, talking about not very much. <laughs> Cranium. You, I believe, are a skinhead. No, I beat me. No. No, I'm a Swede head. A, a Swede head? Yeah. Swede head is like a skinhead, only uh, we, our hair is longer. Like, uh, we got longer hair. Yeah. And uh, we wear Swede bobber boots. <laughs> Swede bobber boots? Yeah, crush puppies. <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask you, what, what about this new gang that's formed, the Rude Boys? Oh, I like Rude Boys. Rude Boys like to do, 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 do